Hi muckers, welcome back to the circus. I'm gonna give you your ticket for the circus today. I'm gonna take it back at the end of the video if I remember. Okay, before we get into this video, um, we're gonna be talking about someone that I don't talk about much on this channel and there's a reason for that. The person we're gonna be talking about is Eugenia Cooney. And now I think just saying that name in, a, in itself, I can kind of do like a, a, a trigger warning, Eugenia Cooney without being too triggering with the words that I'm attaching to the trigger warning. So I do just want to have that at the start of this video and allow it maybe one minute before I start the video. So please, trigger warning for this video, please do not watch if you, if this video is not for you. If it, if it isn't, don't worry. There are many videos in this channel and there are more to come. But this is something that I do just want to talk about because it is a really big story that has been happening. So if you do not know, Eugenia Cooney is a YouTuber on this platform who has opened up that they have struggled with um, an ED. And now, there has been a lot of back and forth over the years that is Eugenia Cooney, you know, perpetrating um, a very unhealthy living style to her audience. Is she body checking? Um, I don't want to put up images on the screen or show you images because they are very triggering of just Eugenia as it is and this is a huge conversation on the internet on what these social media platforms should be doing because it seems as though Bonnie let's not she's gonna knock down all the cardboard cutouts um sit good do you want to actually come up you can come up good girl so hi Bonnie so Eugenia has been called out many times for almost body checking with her audience and this comes in the form of, you know, getting like a, a big sweatshirt and, you know, cropping it and then, you know, posing and posting pictures and, you know, with like captions that are about, you know, how good she looks and, you know, you can look this good and it's incredibly dangerous. It's, it's, are you very warm? Are you okay? Um, it, it, it's, it's very, very scary stuff and there's a line with Eugenia that has been crossed years and years ago and in my opinion, Eugenia Cooney should have been deplatformed by now because Eugenia is aware that there is a danger within herself that she has admitted that she's gone and gotten treatment for in the past. Again, I'm being very careful in this video and being even more careful than that. I'm going to actually put Bonnie out because, hi, bye, because she's very warm right now and it's colder in the other parts of the apartment. So, sorry, okay, that was a lot. <sighs> I'm trying to be so careful here because I care about this person who's very clearly struggling. I care about them on a human level. I don't know anything about Eugenia Cooney. I think what she's doing is in incredibly dangerous and needs to be not online because it is also affecting many young people and they've, it, it's been proven. There are many videos of people online saying they want to get to the level of looking like Eugenia Cooney. They are going to um, do stuff to themselves until they look like her. Their, you know, aspiration is to be as skinny as her. And Eugenia Cooney is a frail person. Eugenia knows that. It seems like Eugenia's family are dangerous enablers. We see this in the Shane Dawson series. Shane Dawson did a series with her where, you know, it seemed like she went and got treatment and she came back. In my opinion, that series was what catapulted her off the deep end again because it put her weight and her looks and her appearance after she just recovered, like she was in the process of recovering. She had just gotten to that point. She was now put in public again. People were able to talk about her weight and look what has happened. She is now even worse than before the series happened. And again, that responsibility is on the people who created that documentary. Now, since that, there's been this back and forth where it seems like it's almost too far with Eugenia right now that people are beyond concerned. And what's been proven now, sorry for the wishy-washy intro of this video, I've already said it, I'm not going to say it again, but I just want to be as sensitive as I can about a topic that I care so deeply about, and I genuinely do. So, Eugenia tweeted the following. Oh, and it's also been a, a conversation over the past couple of months that Eugenia has been, you know, been seen wearing less and less clothing, showing more and more body, 
uh, in response to people calling her out for showing her body as almost a retaliation. And now, you know, body positivity, yes, but whenever you're putting yourself and millions of others uh, way past beyond a dangerous level of living, responsibility needs to be taken, obviously not by Eugenia at this point, but by the creators, by the family, by medical, in my opinion. And Eugenia tweeted the following, and then we have a video to watch from her. Good morning, guys. Going over to the police station today to meet with some of the guys there, because I guess someone called them saying I was in cardiac arrest. Dot, 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 crying emoji. And since they keep getting weird calls, I guess some of them want to meet. Today should be interesting. Now, hold on. Again, I've made it very clear I am not the smartest person ever. Cardiac arrest meaning. Okay, that is is the loss of heart function. Okay. So, very fatal. So, people had called the police station saying that Eugenia was having this. Obviously, she wasn't. So I guess they got busy with other things today, and I actually won't have to go in until next week sometime. Now, I'm very curious as to what's going to happen when Eugenia goes into this place. We will see. Sorry, guys, just kind of a weird start to my day, but I always feel bad when they have to deal with false calls like this. Hope all you guys' days are doing good. And this is my thing with Eugenia that's very upsetting. I don't agree with, you know, people, like, calling on people's behalf. But let's just say people were, like, looking out for Eugenia's best interest, right? Eugenia will always pass it off as, oh, I wish people just weren't concerned for me. But then will continue to body check herself online and, you know, post all these pictures and post all these videos where it's like, you can look like me and, you know, I'm doing this to look like this. And it's like, at a certain level, it's not wasting anyone's time. It's a serious thing. So, Eugenia then posted on Instagram the following talking about this event and let's just hear what she has to say hey guys okay. so um i hope you guys are all having a good morning so far um or day you know whatever time it is for you guys um today's been honestly a little bit strange for me because i was actually about to go down to the police station um which now i guess i don't have to until next week i guess but I figured I'd say this on here just because I already tweeted about this on Twitter. Oops. So, um, I guess that's why I'm here now. But yeah, um, I haven't really talked about this online yet, but it's kind of weird. Like the other day, I got this phone call that I guess for some reason, somebody decided it would be like a good idea to call the police and tell them that I was like in cardiac arrest, um, about to die. Um, which Obviously, I'm not, obviously, I'm alive and everything like that, but yeah, I guess now, just because, like, sometimes they get, like, these weird, crazy calls, you're like, we want to meet this girl in person, so, yeah, so I feel kind of bad sometimes, because there's, like, this one guy that I actually have met that, um, back, like, when the whole, the first time I got swatted, like, a long time ago, um, like, I guess when this kind of stuff happens, sometimes I'll just kind of tell them, like, don't worry about it, like, Sometimes these weird calls just come in. I can call her if I have to. Um, and yeah, um, but I guess now I got busy with some other stuff. So since I already did tweet about it, um, just kind of thought you guys would let, up, let you guys know that I guess now I don't have to probably go in until next week since some other stuff came up. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll probably just go do other things. Yay. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day so far and all that. And hopefully no one's getting weird calls saying they're in cardiac arrest or anything crazy like that. <laughs> uh, I'm just reading through the responses here. I think people calling and saying that this is happening to her is crossing a line. In my opinion, it's, I'm just going to be very open and, and transparent here where my thought is. People calling and doing this is crossing a line. Eugenia being very toxic with her platform and knowing it because people have been calling it out and Eugenia responds to them people saying that they're being toxic. There's this back and forth. It's both two awful situations. And 
Eugenia has been caught up in so many exposed things recently with not being the best person and knowing that, you know, what she's doing and knowing, you know, whenever she shows a picture of herself looking a certain way and then all these people say that they want to look it and she responds saying, you know, you know, I'm all, I'm all good and and that's, and that's not good. We all know that. Something within me just, like, feels so sad for her. And it's, it's like a disappointment that no one, no one in person is, is really seeming to care or act or treating it like, oh, she, she's too far gone. And it, it's, it's incredibly sad. And it, Eugenia, you know, always coming onto social media to justify certain things or, you know, always perpetrate the, you know, I'm fine and, you know, I can't believe this stuff happens and why does this stuff happen and it just makes me really sad and there's, I, I struggle to put my opinion of Eugenia Cooney into words because I just feel so bad for her but at the same time I'm aware that she knows what she's doing because she says she knows what she's doing. And her saying that she's completely healthy and completely fine and, you know, you're, you know, acting out if you say that she's not, that's incredibly dangerous as well. And I guess the, the social medias don't want to do anything, but it's like, where are the family? Where are the friends? Where are the... It's just really sad and I, I, I really, I've said this so much, I just, I hope she gets what she needs. You know what I mean? And just to be safe and for the love of God, her audience to be safe. It's such a tricky topic. And then a tricky topic on top of trying to be sensitive about that tricky topic. Like, I hope you know where I'm coming from with this. And I, I'm very open to hearing where you're at with this. Like, I mean, incredibly. Incredibly, like I'm literally begging, please let me know where you're at with this because with Eugenia, I just see all these all over the place opinions and I would love to know, like, Mucker, where you're at with it. I guess she'll tell us what happens at the police station next week, but I feel like if they tell her something bad, she's not going to let the audience know about that. Am I ridiculous for thinking that or no? I just want her to be well. But also I want her audience to be well. It's a very tricky one. It's an incredibly tricky one. Please let me know where you're at with this. If we get an update next week, I will update you. But I don't think we're going to get an update next week. I don't. You can let me know where you're at with it, please. I love you. Thank you for watching if you did. And I know if you haven't that you're not seeing this. But again, for the people who aren't here anymore who were not able to watch this one, I know you're not here, but I love you. And I'm sorry. I just wanted to cover this. Um, that's why I made sure at the start of this video to just, you know what I mean? It, it's... You know what I mean? I love you. Thank you for watching. I'm going to take your ticket back. I didn't really think the ticket thing through whenever I was covering such a serious topic. Um, stay safe. Stay well. And just look after yourself. Okay, bye.